a misinformed form of who we were born to be. Born between blind perception and divine reality. Born into Our dreams are built on a faulty foundation of fallacy. This will be our fatality. It's simply a formality. See the casualties, the war laid on the floor of the battle scene. We worship how we feel. We don't worship who we should. Yeah, we got it bad. And if God calls it bad, we call it good. We cover what others have. Grab whatever we can. Whatever we want. We think it belongs in the palm of our hands. Going along with a song and a dance. Worshiping idols to fulfill our entitlement issues. We're addicted to the feeling we get when we get what we want, so we pick and we choose. Even the air we breathe is a gift we receive that we think we're entitled to. Even the air we breathe is a gift we receive that we think we're entitled to. They say you get what you deserve, so we work hard to earn it. Earn as much as we can to determine our self worth and purpose. Identified by what we buy, it's a sad state of affairs. And when we die, we lose it all and just lay there naked and bare. But none of this stuff can cover us. No, it never was enough for us. Nothing we can work for to obtain can wash away the stain. The only thing we're entitled to is judgment for the lives we let. There's nothing we can hide behind in the end. Spend a lifetime trying to find love in anything and everything this life has to offer, it's true. And oftentimes we trade the temporal satisfaction for the things the genuine believer is entitled to. I'm convinced that it's because they don't understand that there exists an order of benefits of redemption that's applied to his bride. And the basis for his choice and election was for God alone to decide. And it's not like an invitation that one might accept or reject, but rather it's the effectual calling drawing to himself his elect. Regenerating and enabling us to respond in faith towards Christ Giving us the gift of repentance, revealing the nature of his sacrifice Binding us with the true intellectual realization of our sinful condition Converting us and turning us from our previous malicious disposition Ultimately leading to a legal declaration by God that we've been made right in his sight Justification being credited to us on the basis of the righteousness of Christ Adopted to be children of God and grafted into fellowship Being bound together by the blood of Christ into a common membership Sanctified by the Spirit given gradual growth and holiness Increasing in our thinking and behaving in ways that shows that we're chosen And all the while being preserved and upheld according to His sovereign providence Giving us confidence that He will carry us to completion just like He promised